People driving along uh, South Columbus in Philadelphia, they, they see this ship, this 1950s era ocean liner that's seemingly derelict and abandoned. And there on the Delaware River is this 990 foot long faded ocean liner just sitting there. And it's massive, it's 12 stories high, it's 990 feet long, you cannot miss it. And it's been there so long that it's become a part of the landscape. The funnels thrust up just like smokestacks from the cement factory across the Delaware River in Camden. It's a landmark for people, oh, make a ride at the big ship, you know. And despite the fact that this beautiful ship is sitting there, people don't pay her any attention. They drive right past her. I think they have no idea how this ship came to Philadelphia, why she is here, how long she'll stay. The ship is a, a big mystery. The irony is that right there in Philadelphia, in the birthplace of our country, in the home of the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall, the birthplace of this great nation, they don't know what that ship is. I know it's been here for a while. Uh, how long, I don't know. And there are truck drivers who drive past this massive ship every day, and they don't even give her a second look. What do you know about that ship? Well, I, I know it's pretty big. It just says United States, you know, United States on there. It looks like it was a cruise ship. It looked like a little tugboat. A little tugboat? Yeah. OK. Wrong. <laughs> she's just, she's become invisible. She's been forgotten, and I think that needs to change. It's bigger than the Titanic. That's a big surprise. And they have no idea that this massive ship that's sitting there is the SS United States, our nation's flagship, one of the crowning maritime achievements of the 20th century, if not the crowning maritime achievement. She is one of the a very few vintage, classic ocean liners uh, still with us. I think people would love the chance to sail on her. Well, she's like a, a lady in waiting. To look at her just could, could thrill you with pride and uh, wonder. She just is a magnificent looking boat. When it, when it was in service, this ship could go faster in reverse than any of our ships today can go forward. This was the fastest ship in the world in 1952 when it took the Blue Ribbon away from the Queen Mary. No ship that has been built before or since could ever match that record. She was built like a battleship, solid and strong, and she plowed through these rough North Atlantic seas even the depths of those harsh winters. Everybody that sailed her felt that experience, felt that, that American experience, that, that New York experience, that United States experience. You knew that this was an American ship. You knew that this was the pride of our nation.